They're investigating an overnight shooting that left a woman dead. And WXII 12's Louis Tran joins us live from High Point now. After speaking with one of those victims' friends, Louis, what did they have to say? Hey, Kenny and Lindsay. The woman tells you that she and the victim Anita Hyatt met almost two decades ago. She tells you that an entire community is hurting. Now that Hyatt is gone. It broke my heart. Terry Chapman's heart is hurting after she learned on social media that her friend Anita Hyatt is gone. You don't really believe it. Like, when you see her name, it's like, no. Friday morning at 1. High Point police say they found Hyatt with gunshot wounds at the Super 8 by Wyndham on Regency Drive. She later died at the hospital. So it really hurts. Uh, I was, I'm very brokenhearted about her not being there, not being able to see her. I just talked to her last week. Chapman says she met Hyatt at Wellborn Middle School, and they both graduated from T. Wingate Andrews High School. Chapman tells me that Hyatt was an entrepreneur and would often give her advice. But it wasn't her words that touched her, she says. It was her compassion for others. She was like a light on a dim day. Uh, I, there are times where I felt like I just needed someone to talk to. And Anita is that type of person where you need someone to talk to. She has that listening ear. As police investigate and continue to search for answers, a community is mourning, feeling a void that Ania Hyatt left behind. The community and her family have lost someone that can never be replaced. High Point police say they arrested Demetrius Hill in this case. He's charged with first degree murder and firearm by a felon. Police say that he's Hyatt's ex-boyfriend. In High Point, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.